that is the let me turn my box off here that is the inverted V there's the delta loop delta loop inverted V delta loop Inverted V on the Spain station. I'm getting ready to switch back to the loop. Getting ready to go back to the inverted V. Delta loop. Inverted V. State side. Inverted V. Delta loop. 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 Let me turn this down. I'll explain what I have. I have a uh, 40 meter delta loop, um, bottom left corner fed, the, uh, the height of one leg of the antenna is about 23 feet, the other leg is about 11 feet, um, so the uh, I'm feeding it at the lowest corner and it's a reasonably low antenna and I had a few uh, a few guys help me them Steve K1GMM um, he has a YouTube channel and uh, Dave and and Paul a um, bunch of loop loop well we play around with all kinds of antennas inverted L's everything so um, this is I'm assuming this is vertically polarized um, with one end being high the fat end being in the left low corner but if you notice stateside you don't really see a terrible amount of difference but when you start shooting out to DX stations I've noticed both transmit and receive um, you will see a tremendous difference Delta loop Delta, uh, inverted V Two element Yagi. I don't know. It may be horizontal. So basically what you try to do is you try to listen for people's working conditions. The power, what antenna they're running, 
Um, what frequency, what time of day or night? Obviously, it's one o'clock in the morning here. So, um, this antenna, I had some issues with with trying to use a four to one ballon. And if anybody wants to try to make a delta loop and it's going to be fed kind of low to the ground, I would suggest um, what Steve told me. Uh, really helped me tremendously. Uh, the loop is about 140 feet and what I did is I went and I got some quad shield GE RG6 coax from Lowe's and after you calculate in the velocity factor it's around 24 feet of 75 ohm coax um, I don't have it coiled or anything. It's just laying on the ground. So what I did is I soldered the center pin to one side of the loop, the the shield to the other, around 24 feet, maybe a little bit shy of that, but it's always better to go long. Um, it made for a very good match, like across and across the entire 40 meter band um, it's about a 1.4 1.5 SWR so and it's also resonant at 20 meters and 15 meters now and the entire 2 meter band too which is really weird but if you get this antenna up higher like I plan to get the apex the top up from like 22, 23 feet up to about 36 feet. Um, you'll notice a tremendous difference and also your impedance will change. Um, it'll start to get higher. Right now the impedance with the uh, 75 ohm coax stub um, is around 43 ohms at the radio or actually at the the input there at the window you can see I have um, three different antennas so what I do I have the Alpha Delta switch up there but I just go back and forth and run two antennas right now and uh, right now the other one is for the uh, the VHF rig so um, it's something you want to keep in mind and tomorrow I'll show a uh, more detailed video of the loop antenna. Um, the best way that we've found to run them is, is you, if you can get it two ends high, like if you can get two high and one low, it doesn't matter how low. I mean this one here is probably seven feet off the ground. Um, feed it at the bottom and you're gonna have a hellacious antenna like uh, one of the best antennas that you'll ever run given their you know their mono band supposedly mono band uh, beams they still have you know harmonics to to them so remember that when running a loop especially if you're having problems uh, feeding it with a four to one ballon and you just can't get that SWR down below say like a 2.6 or something like that understand that the impedance changes each um, each element of the delta loop comes into play so all right guys I wanted to post this and uh, just kind of show you the difference and again there's the inverted V he's run a S7 and he's bumping anywhere and the band's up and down but I've been sitting here for about 25 minutes going back and forth so this guy stateside is a bit stronger on the inverted V the inverted V is at 36 feet at the apex so 
it's it's strange it, it, loops are a strange animal but they are fun if you ever get a chance to build one build it <laughs> because they will offer a little bit of gain over a dipole antenna and they're a lot of fun to build and once you get something like this up um, take your time on your matching stub on your RG6 um, they make uh, Steve was telling me they make some liquid um, liquid electrical uh, tape <laughs> so oh this guy's on the new FT 101 interesting so hopefully I can sit here for a little while and catch him um, talking on the new uh, 101 so alright guys Jared in Kentucky W4ZX Tango and hope to hear you on the band or maybe in the K1 GMM group see you guys